Hello and welcome back to our Realm of Thrones playthrough. And we are, of course, here on the western coast of Essos because we're obviously attempting to attack as many dragon stone vassals and, well, people that are employed by them as we can. And one such fellow is this guy, as you might expect. So here's the main thing that we're going to have to be a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit worried about. They have Thunder Knights, right? They have Thunder Knights. Now, obviously, these guys, they mean business. They mean a pretty serious amount of business. However, they seem to only have Lancers. They do have two-handed. So this obviously means no shield, which is obviously perfect. If you please. That's really, really good for us. In other words, that means that I should technically be able to absolutely murder. Oh, yeah, by the way. I did go back to Dothraki territory and I did a little bit of sorting out. I have not, um, <laughs> I have still, <laughs> I've still not gotten a helmet, even though uh, I do appreciate those of you that said in the, <laughs> that said in the comments that I should just, you know, bend the theme a little bit and uh, allow myself to wear a helmet. And uh, actually, you know what, Maybe, do I have one here? Maybe I should just wear a helmet, even if it's just like a... I don't know. I mean, look, I have I have one right here. Should I wear it? Sure, why not? I'll wear a helmet, even though it's not very thematic. But um, maybe I can get a better one, because some people have said that if I um, attack one of the nobles, or uh, I think there is a noble noble helmet that is available that is actually like see-through and is invisible, basically. So I'm kind of wondering maybe whether we can get that in a marketplace sometime. Because if we can, that's going to be great. That's going to be super nice. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, uh, let me see here. So Hodor is obviously going to be our main person here. He actually just leveled up, hilariously enough. So I'm pretty happy for him to just literally stay on the uh, on the cavalry. Ooh, no, this is actually... Uh, um, okay, I'm not entirely sure. On the one hand, I really, really love this particular map because I think this map is amazing. By the way, what, what's actually going on with the fact that I can see these these icons through the uh, through the ground is that a thing that is just you know natural to my game or is that a bug i don't know is, is that like a thing that is just normal for everyone or i don't know it's nothing to do with the mod because i have that happen in every single every single series so <laughs> i don't know i'm not entirely sure what is going on there but anyway let me see if I can actually try to... Um, I don't even know what I'm trying to do here, to be honest. I'm, I, I'm trying to bait them, basically. I'm trying to bait them as best as I can. Maybe try to eliminate a couple of them in the process. Nice damage. Nice damage. Nice. Okay. And, uh, not many kills, but that doesn't really matter. Don't really need kills to bait the enemy. As you can see, they are literally coming across the bridge, which is somewhat decent. Oh, nice hit. Nice. There we go. If we can just have them face their backs to my archers, that should be pretty much all we really require. Okay, so... Ah. Yes, exactly. You see what you see what just happened there? That guy hit me in the head. And you know what would have happened if I didn't have a helmet on? I probably would have been dead. That is, that is almost assuredly the case. I probably would have been dead. Oh, nice. We actually did manage to eliminate one of the Thunder Knights. That's nice. Okay, hopefully we can actually stay alive. I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest, because here's the thing. I have mostly cavalry, which is obviously fine. You know, that's that's our that's our thing, right? You know, cavalry is our thing at the moment. And what I'd like to do is take all my forces across the bridge here so that we can get a little bit of extra space. I personally would not like to get taken out. So I'm going to do a little bit of something here. And we are just going to uh, get my forces across... And then maybe we can do something. I'm I'm kind of hoping... Can we attack this guy right here? Maybe we can engage them. There we go. We're just going to engage them straight up. We're just going to engage this particular, you know, uh, section of the enemy's cavalry. That's it. That's all we're going to attempt to do. And I'm going to try to distract a couple of them. I'm not really going to go for any kills here. I'm not going to try to get any kills because, well, if I can, then sure. But, um... Generally, I'm just trying to be uh, just trying to be a little bit opportunistic here. That guy is a Thunder Knight. Yep, we want to kill that. Let's tell them to charge. Actually, let's tell my guys to charge in. Um, should I wait? I'm gonna 
I'm just going to put auto delegate on, to be honest, because I'm now thinking to myself, is it a bad idea for me to charge in here? Yes, I think it is, actually. I don't think it's a particularly good good plan. Um, but maybe it's going to be okay. I don't know, actually. Oh, these Thunder Knights are going to do so much damage. They only have eight of them, but I'm going to assume that they're going to do massive damage to us. Um, that reminds me... Um, I actually got this army sorted before I was reminded of the, um, the Unsullied, obviously. The Unsullied is absolutely 100% who we are going to go and get when I have the opportunity to do so. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that these things are super, super expensive. They're, um, I, I, th I think it's, isn't it, isn't it like 100,000 or something like that? I actually have no idea. I can't remember now, but... I remember in a previous series, we did actually get a great amount of Unsullied, and they are just fantastic for, you know, anti-cavalry measures. And if we have those, at least we have a strong front line, and that front line can really do wonders for our survivability. And so I'm kind of hoping that we can do something like that. Maybe we'll be able to, maybe we won't, I don't know, but if we can get over to Astapor, then obviously that is going to be exactly what we want. Um, I just need to find the NPC available as well because he is a bit he is a bit slippery, you know? He is a bit slippery. And that does mean that I'm going to have to search for him quite heavily, which is obviously not exactly what I want, but, uh, well, you know. That's, uh, that's neither here nor there, to be honest. Oh, nice. I love this weapon, actually. I love this weapon. I, I need to use this more, but I also need to use my Arak more, to be honest, because that is obviously thematic. The weapon I'm using at the moment is not so thematic, but it is a lot more effective. I think, maybe? I don't know. Is it? Let me actually just have a look. Actually, it does good damage, even though I only have 72 in one-handed skill. The Arak is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, not so much damage against these guys. Ooh, nice headshot. That was a good one. Yeah, this is obviously a lot more usable, as in it is faster and has a lot more um, flexibility, I suppose. Can we actually kill this guy? Oh, never mind. He just got shot. There we are. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to speed up the rest, and we should be fine to have a victory here. Wow, we're, we're, we're taking a long time to beat this guy, to be honest, but I don't think we lost too many troops. Yeah, as you can see, we only lost 13, which is not actually even bad. I'm pretty surprised that we only lost 13. Now, here's the thing. The main reason why I haven't gotten Unsullied yet is because I'm kind of hoping that we can maintain a relatively decent number of cavalry forces so that we can go really, really quick. Yes, really quick. That's all I really want to do. I just want to be able to move around fast. That's my main goal at the moment, because if we don't move around fast, we are going to have a huge, huge problem in being able to run away from things and to pursue things and so on. And so, you know, this is kind of the reason why I haven't gotten the Unsullied yet, because I feel like maybe what I should do is get my clan tier to the next level first, and then maybe do something about that. Maybe do something like getting the Unsullied at that point. Let me just have a quick look. Because my, my clan tier at the moment, I think I'm clan tier 2? Am I clan tier 2? I think so. I think I'm clan tier 2. Let's have a look. No, I'm actually clan tier 3 and I just leveled up. Oh, okay. Okay, so it seems like I am going to have to do something about that. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, two of my caravans did literally just get captured by pirates if you can believe it, because I personally can't. I have no idea what even happened with these guys, but for some reason, pirates are apparently the uh, the kryptonite to their, you know, uh, <laughs> to their operations for some reason. Anyway, Hodor actually leveled up, so what are we going to get him? I guess we'll get him some athletics, right? We'll get, I guess we'll get him some athletics because he's got one focus point. I mean, he's one focus point away from getting maximum on this. I think that kind of makes sense. So that's what we'll do. And otherwise, we now have a choice to make. Do we want to continue into enemy territory or do we just want to head back and lick our wounds slightly? I'm thinking we'll probably lick our wounds just for a little bit of time and then we'll go over into enemy territory once again. I do kind of want to... Oh, hello. 
Stannis Baratheon assaults King's Landing and is bombarded with wildfire that destroyed nearly his entire fleet. He and his men still manage to breach the walls and nearly achieve victory when Tywin and the Tyrell army arrive and force a reluctant retreat. Most of Stannis' bannermen either die or are forced to switch allegiances. Stannis is forced back to Dragonstone to contemplate his next move. And now I'm probably going to have to remove all of the sound in that particular section because um, they, uh, they play copyrighted music during that time and I obviously can't show that. So unfortunate, isn't it? Yes, because it's actually a very cool, atmospheric, immersive thing to have. But unfortunately, due to, you know, various copyright problems, as you might expect, you know, we're not going to be able to show that. But yeah, uh, that, OK, so what does that actually mean for Dragonstone, though? What does that mean for Dragonstone? Does that mean that they're going to be, um, you know, chilling out somewhere or something? I, I, I don't actually know. He's, he's probably just going to be running back and doing not much, I assume. Um, let me actually just equip my people with some things. And then we're just going to sell the rest. We've got a lot of a lot of things to sell here. We can also sell this stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, someone actually did point out, very well spotted on this. Um, yeah, I actually need to... Uh, I need to smelt. So yeah, very well spotted on this. But there is actually a dragon <laughs> that, <laughs> that sells for one gold and is quite clearly not equipable in my inventory which i think is quite funny i'm not entirely sure where where i even got this from i don't think i can equip this no as you can see it is not equipable in any way it is literally just a dragon but it is not a dragon if you know what i mean it doesn't actually um you know uh, it's not categorized as a dragon in any way so <laughs> a bit weird right a bit weird, but very well spotted to the person that saw this. I'm going to keep this in my inventory just because I think that's amusing. It doesn't literally, it literally weighs one, so it's not really going to do much for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're just going to get some fish real fast. And then we'll buy some cheese and beer and butter and meat and all that wonderful stuff. There we go. And we're just going to get a little bit of extra cash right there. And I think, do I have, ooh, barely have anything. All right, well, we might be able to smelt some things that can get me some more hardwood. I'm kind of hoping for three. No, we are not. All right, wait a minute. I might be able to do something super, super fun here if I can actually make this work. Let me have a look. Okay, iron pitchforks, wooden. Ah, I was kind of hoping for more than that. Okay, well, I guess I could just buy a bunch of these. Iron pitchforks are actually okay as well, I think. Blacksmith's hammers are also relatively decent. Um, oh yeah, by the way, thank you very much. Um, I think a bunch of people told me that tribesmen throwing knives, tribesmen throwing knives, those are the things that we want to take a look for. Yeah, as you can see here, tribesmen throwing daggers. These things you can smelt and you'll get fine steel from this. So this is actually super, super good. And thank you very much for letting me know about them uh, because I've obviously not really done a huge amount of this kind of thing. You know, I have smelted a bunch and done loads of smithing in the past but you know the specific thing that's going to give me a, a you know very particular kind of resource i'm not really sure on so yeah as you can see right here look at this tribesman daggers they literally will give you um fine steel all across the board which is absolutely amazing so boom look at that we just gained an insane amount of fine steel in one fell swoop, which is really nice. And we can also smelt a bunch of these pitchforks here as well, and then just gain a massive amount of hardwood, uh, smelt them once again, massive amount of charcoal, boom, there we are. So that is very cool too. And otherwise, I technically could just go for it, and um, I think I will probably just do that. And there we go. Smelted a whole bunch. We're going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of pieces here and now let me actually just have a quick look is there something that i want to do do i want to get uh, do i want to get a different kind of pole arm hmm uh, i don't know i i'm kind of thinking that maybe what we would like to do instead is maybe get a one-handed sword and maybe we can use an arak instead maybe we can craft an arak for ourselves which might actually be be kind of cool i don't know Maybe it's going to be kind of cool. There is a horse lord blade here. Not entirely sure what that means, but obviously it's pretty... A kopesh blade. 
I'm pretty sure that... I mean, do the Dothraki use Kopesh blades? I don't think so, right? They mostly they mostly use... Um, I mean, there's Valyrian steel here as well, which is actually super cool. Um, but yeah, I, I can't actually create any of these because I'm going to need Thamaskine steel for basically all of that, with the exception of the lion tooth blades, blades and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, Arax... I guess I will try. Yes, I can actually create this. Okay, so let's see what I can do. Maybe I can do something really cool with this. Ooh, does that actually look in keeping with it? Not really, right? Hmm, Golden Company, Kopesh Guard. Do we have anything here that is like an Arak thing? Uh, uh, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be super, super nice if we could get something like that. It doesn't seem like it. Um, but does it matter? That's the question. Does it actually matter? I mean, most of this, yeah, sure. Oh, look, there's the Unsullied Sword Guard. It actually does give you, um, hand armor, but you're going to need 10 Thamaskeen Steel for that, so good luck. Um, yeah, that's going to be extremely, <laughs> extremely expensive. Um, okay, well, there's the Kopesh Guard. Maybe we want to just go for that. I don't see anything else. There's the Needle Guard there. Again, okay, yeah, so there doesn't seem to be a guard on this at all. I guess I'll just go for the Kopesh Guard. I mean, it doesn't... Does it do much? I mean, it increases its length, right? A little bit? Yeah, increases its length somewhat. I guess that's somewhat decent. Yeah, why not? Let's increase this. Uh, yeah, I want to increase the weapon reach quite dramatically, if I can. And let's see what other handles we have available. There's the Arak handle. Okay, so this is... Oh, now that's looking pretty nice. Oh, I like that. Okay, so the weapon reach is absolutely insane now. Um, let me see here. So if I actually make this, if I make it like 120 or so, can I do that? Okay, there we go. 120. That sounds pretty nice. And then we obviously have a pommel as well to choose from. We've got a Kopesh pommel. Or we could just go for nothing, right? Oh no, we could go for the only low level stuff. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, we have length available here. Which doesn't really do much to our stats, as you can see. It literally does nothing to our stats. So it's just if we want it to look cool, I guess. I mean, there's a, serp a serpent Kopesh Pommel. Yes, a serpent Kopesh Pommel, you say? Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's not. I'm thinking right now that I don't really care. I, I mean, it's, it's doing... Wait a minute. Did I see 98 there one time? I'm just seeing it just go from 96. This is so strange. I don't actually know what's going on with that. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to make it. I'm going to call it something, even though this is literally difficulty 200. So all I'm going to get is something garbage. Um, so <laughs> I guess I'll just call it something garbage. There we go. That's absolutely fantastic. Great. Can I actually craft that? Well, I did, but I'm not sure if I actually created something garbage or whether I created something else. So I guess we'll just have to deal with it. But as you can see, we just unlocked a huge amount of new smithing parts, which is very nice. And um, yeah, okay. So we're going to go into another battle, hopefully relatively soon. I'd like to go into some caravan battles as well because they are so much easier for us to win and they're going to give us relatively similar influence. So it would be nice. So otherwise, apart from that, here we go. No, it actually doesn't take my, it doesn't take the name. It didn't take the name of uh, of my um, of my. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't take something garbage. It doesn't take something garbage for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but <laughs> that is kind of strange. But there we go. Anyway, we're now using a much better weapon. It is actually much better, even though it was clearly not very good. You know, it's not crafted very well because I just don't have the skill for it at the moment. Don't worry, I will be leveling up smithing a lot more as time goes on. Have we made peace with them yet? No, we haven't. Oh, this is actually really strange. Usually, I feel like we would have made peace with them quite fast, but I guess this is just good for me, to be honest. This just means that I can now prey upon them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they made peace with them as soon as I was... Oh, okay, yeah, they literally made peace with them as I was making my way back. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah, that is... That is actually extremely frustrating. That is very annoying, isn't it? Okay, I guess the next best thing for me to do... 
is to attempt to cause some kind of war against someone else. So let's actually see what's happening with the diplomacy screen here because I'm kind of wondering if there are any uh, little bits of support for a war against someone else. As you can see, Dragonstone is actually paying the Dothraki 710 tribute per day. Why do they only have three towns? Did they lose a huge amount? I'm going to have a look after this. They must have lost a massive amount of, um, of fiefs somehow. But yeah, there's basically nothing here. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently House Targaryen, uh, led by Aegon, is literally having to pay 1700 to the Dothraki as well. That's actually super crazy. All right. Well, I guess that means that uh, we have free reign to basically do whatever we want. So what's actually happened to Dragonstone? They still own it. Aha. Uh -huh. The Westerlands have taken over most of their fiefs. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and the Veil. Vale. And the Veil. Vale. So the West... Oh, oh, wow. Okay. The Westerlands and the Veil vale have taken over a significant portion of Dragonstone's Thieves. I'm extremely surprised about that. I, I, I've, I've played a campaign beforehand where I was actually a loyalist to the, to the Dragonstone faction. And that never happened. So I'm wondering whether that is a, indeed a new event of some kind. Or um, maybe something else. I don't know. But I would like to cause war against Kohor here, potentially. Maybe we can actually have something going on there. Or maybe we can attack Sanor. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, wait a minute, what's this? Kohor has two. Hmm. Let me just have a quick look. I need to make sure that we know what we're doing right here. Because I do not want to declare war against a potential devastating force. Okay, both of these are basically the same. Sanor is at war against multiple people, though, as you can see. So I think that we're going to attack Sanor, which is just over here. I think that is going to be a much better idea. So let's do that. Um, obviously, my main purpose right now is to get as much money as I can. That is literally my only purpose, uh, uh, you know, as it stands. And um, it's kind of annoying that our forces did get eliminated. Okay, so let me attack these guys. There we go. Just going to attack them. And there we go. Okay, we've actually forced them into... Ooh, we forced them into war. Oh, no. He's going to be so annoyed at me right now. He is really going to be super, super annoyed. All right. Maybe he's going to be annoyed or maybe he's not going to be annoyed. I mean, I don't know. I'm forcing them into war, though, which is uh, not great. If I was a vassal right now, I literally would have just lost massive amounts of honor and relation. But because I'm a mercenary, apparently that doesn't make any difference. I'm actually really surprised. I was kind of expecting to get kicked out of being a mercenary just because I did this particular action. But apparently there are no consequences for it, which is actually quite surprising in itself. But I'm, uh, I'm kind of hoping that maybe we're going to see some caravans here. I'm actually not entirely sure what's going on with it, to be honest. Are we not seeing any caravans? Mm. I think the main issue that we're having right now is that the Sarnorians are, or the Sarnori, I, I don't know how, how they how they say the plural of their of their name. Sarnori, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so their vassals are probably attacking the other forces. Yeah, as you can see, there's someone here that we might be able to attack. Uh can we get him? I actually don't know whether we can even beat this guy. It looks like it. I don't know. Sanori spiders. Sanori spiders? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. They might be dangerous. Oh, they are. Oh, they're dangerous. Look at them. They've got Jareeds as well. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, these guys mean business. How many of those do they have? 25 of those suckers. Right. Okay, that's going to be harsh. This is going to be really harsh. I could technically say, let us, let us settle this according to the old ways. I challenge you to a duel. I expect you to surrender. <gasps> he said yes? We shall meet you on the field then. Okay, begin the duel. I mean, he doesn't have to abide by these rules, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, he has a thrown weapon, so this is not going to go so well. Because I don't. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have a shield. I don't have a thrown weapon. I don't have anything. Okay. Oh, nice. This is such a... What is this? We <laughs> this is not a dueling weapon. This is not a dueling weapon. Help me. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. 
Oh, this is... This, oh, oh, whew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, this is definitely not a dueling weapon, but it is definitely a cavalry-focused weapon. Seems cool. We can actually capture it. Look at that. He did abide by the rules of the duel, and we are going to be doing that. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go straight away, and there you go. We now have the opportunity to capture 25 Sarnori spiders and potentially... Um, convert them to our side, which is exactly what I wanted to do, actually, because that means, I mean, they're fantastic. They're really good units. So that's going to be uh, pretty fun to see. And we also get some additional food here, and there is another person over there that we could potentially attack. He doesn't ha Oh. Never mind. He has a lot of spiders as well. So this might be uh, this might be a little bit problematic. Okay, so he's chasing me right now. I'm actually wondering whether he believes he can beat me or whether he thinks that he just wants to defend. That's the question. Let me see here. Do you actually want to attack? Do you think you can beat me with 39 of your spiders? I'm pretty sure he can, actually. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, look at this. I've got 25 of these. I have 36 Screamers, which obviously are not particularly amazing. I'm kind of hoping for a Caravan, to be honest, because if I get a Caravan and I can auto-resolve against the Caravan, or I can just attack these guys. Right. I guess that makes more so... sense. <laughs> just attack these guys and get some really, really nice level ups from that. I'm actually wondering, should I just go... You know what? I want to try out my Arak, my new cavalry combat focused arak that sounds that sounds like a lot more fun than auto resolving so let's do that and um yeah i mean look at this weapon it's insanely massive wow it, it, it is really really cool obviously it is not going to be amazing for dueling as you can no doubt tell this is an amazing map by the way i love this look at how cool this looks this is literally one of the more unique maps that i have seen it's not just a, a, you know, a standard desert or plains or, you know, what have you, battlefield. It's actually something that looks really unique. Oh, yeah. The, oh, wow. Did I really do such little damage? Apparently, I am just really, really terrible with this. Oh, what? I'm doing so little damage. Okay, why, why is that? Am I just not timing it right? I guess so, right? That must be the case. Or is it just a bad weapon? Hmm. Okay. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit confused right now because I felt like this weapon was really amazing. But I'm doing very little damage. Huh. As you can see. Wow, okay, I'm gonna have to switch to my pole arm because um Literally, doing 50 damage maximum is really not the way to win a battle, especially against Sanori spiders where there are so many of them, of course. Oh wow, I literally just almost died instantly. That was not great. Oh wow. What are my forces doing, by the way? Are they being stupid? Oh, they're being stupid, aren't they? Oh, they're really being super, super awful right now to me. Oh dear. Oh no. Yeah, I really wish they would actually do something somewhat useful. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. It's the pathfinding. It's the pathfinding on this particular map that is causing us to have a great deal of problems. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. You, you see exactly what's happening right here. My forces are not going across the, the river. Because they're getting stuck at the riverbank and they're just running around randomly. And I have a bad feeling that I might actually end up losing this, even though we outnumber them dramatically. Look at how stupid my AI is being right now. Look at this. Look at these guys right here. This is absolutely ridiculous. No offense. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to lose the battle. I am literally going to lose. I mean, I, I might not, because we outnumber them dramatically, but... I mean, literally, look at this. Look at this. Wow. What, what, I don't know. I, I was so impressed by when we went into this particular field battle. I was thinking to myself, wow, this is an amazing map. You know, you heard my comments on it. And then the AI 
literally just thought, yes, I am going to stay over here on the shore and I'm not going to do anything at all. And that, that was the most egregious display of incompetence I've ever seen. Well, actually, no, never mind. I see myself play every day, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, somewhat kidding, somewhat not. But anyway, um, yeah, technically I can let this guy go or I can take him prisoner. I think I'll just let him go for the moment. Uh, I cannot believe that that actually happened, to be honest. I feel like I have been robbed uh, in some way or another. I feel like that was insane. Wow. Uh, there's nothing for me to say about it, is there? There's nothing for me to say. I... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That was just to just awful. It was just absolutely awful. You know, bottom line, if this guy had had slightly more troops, I'd be dead. I would have been defeated. And that's it. That's what it comes down to. And I'm, I'm utterly gobsmacked, actually, at how incompetent they actually were in that moment. And uh, thankfully, the Dothraki are actually doing something, which I got to say, I'm super pleased about. As you can see, they did actually decide to make peace. However, they did take a castle in the meantime. So I got to say, I'm actually not too annoyed at that. Because for me personally, I'm I'm not a big fan of the way the AI actually works when it comes to the, you know, the diplomacy and things like that. Obviously, I don't have the, you know, diplomacy mod installed or anything. Uh, however, even with that, you're not really going to have a lot more, um, I mean, yeah, sure, it's going to make a bit of a difference, but it seems like for me, uh, these guys literally just make peace over and over again, whether you like it or not. That's pretty much how it goes, unfortunately. Okay, so this guy actually looks really good for a steward. Hmm. Do we, we need steward skill, right? Yes, we need someone that can actually be a steward. So I think we'll actually do that with him. And I'm also thinking uh, we'll go for Siege Medic here, I think. Or I don't know. Siege Medic is not that good. We could go for Veterinarian, which has the 30% daily chance to recover a lame horse and also a 50% chance to recover mounts of dead cavalry troops in battles. That's actually super insane for earning cash. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to go for Veterinarian because most of the time we're not really going to be suffering from Siege Bombardment casualties in the first place. So I feel like that's kind of decent. I'm going to also go for Famous Commander here, even though I personally really did want to get Loyalty and Honor because that gives you plus 30% faster non-bandit prisoner recruitment. But I also really quite badly want to get plus 50% Renown gain from battles. So we're going to go for the Famous Commander here for the moment. And otherwise, we'll go for Mounted Warrior. That's going to give me more melee damage. We'll go for Guards, I suppose, because the other thing is more about, um, you know, thrusting pole arms and stuff like that. So we'll go for Guards. And then apart from that, we also have this. What do we want? Well, I'm not using a shield. Well, I'm not using a shield, of course. So I'm going to take Cavalry here. And we are using a one-handed weapon, as it is. And we have two focus points, if you can believe it. So I'll go for one additional focus point in one-handed here. And then I'm kind of thinking that maybe we'll go for another one in... Well, not engineering, I suppose, because it's probably unlikely we're going to be entering another siege for a little bit of time, at least. But I'm thinking we'll go for some more charm skill. And then I'm going to level up my vigor to six. I do want to get vigor and endurance to seven if I can do that and also I'd like to get intelligence to seven too so those are the things that I really want to level up to seven hopefully at least hopefully we can actually make that work now I would like to get this guy I don't know whether I have enough space I do barely I barely have enough space okay so can we recall this member yes we can uh, we can recall this guy as well. It's going to take a little bit of time for them to get here, but we're going to get Hi. this fellow. Hello there, sir. Oh, only 1,600. Only 1,600 for such a good companion? I'm actually very surprised. All right. Yep, he's 120 in steward. And this is actually going to provide me with probably, or hopefully, shall we say, the uh, extra company capacity that I needed to be able to field some more Unsullied. Look at that. That's actually pretty fantastic. That's really good. 
because even if, you know, I mean, even if it's just like a 14 increase or whatever, it doesn't really make any difference. Basically, what I'm talking about here is if I get 50 unsullied, we're going to be pretty good, you know, 50 unsullied. And then we've got a bunch of others. Uh, I think that seems pretty nice. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is I'm actually just going to go here. Let's just auto equip all of our people with things. Um, we also need to equip this guy with weapons because apparently he doesn't have any. Is he actually good at fighting? Yes, he is. Look at him. He's got great weapons. What? How does he how does he have such good weapons? And also, why is my weapon doing such little damage? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so he's going to be using this. Does he have a bow? Does he have good bow skill? He does not. He has thrown weapons. I actually don't really want to give him a thrown weapon. I'm thinking I'll probably give him a pole arm or something like that. Do, do we have a pole arm? Yes, we do. Heavy night lance. He doesn't really mind about that. Does he have good writing skill? I think he does. Yes, he has 100 in writing skill, so we might as well give him something. We'll give him one of these. And there we have it. All right, that's absolutely fantastic. Great. So he's looking really, really good right now. And also what I want to do is considering we are now at peace, it's probably going to be a relatively decent idea just to get another caravan up and running. I do want to actually get the other people doing something for me as well. I would like to get the other... Um, you know, the other companions that are actually going to be coming and joining us. I'd like to get them involved as well in additional caravans so that we can actually start making some cash passively a little bit more often so that I don't have to go into inevitable fights to earn mercenary, uh, you know, mercenary wages, even though that is obviously far and away the best for us. And as you can see, um, seems like mm, mm, yeah, a lot of the places are being eliminated by Dawn now as well. I'm kind of wondering what the Dothraki are going to do here. Huh. Maybe I should declare war on the on, on the Targaryens or something like that. Maybe that would be an idea. I mean, I'm talking about Aegon's Targaryens, potentially. Maybe that's an idea? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I, I, I don't know how they're going to really deal with this. But I'm uh, kind of interested. Okay, so now that we are here, we're going to do this. Form a caravan. This guy. That's another 15,000. Oh. And we're going to form another caravan here. This guy. There we go. And they're going to go and hopefully get me some good cash. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. And we also have Astapor as well. We are right here in Astapor. I'm actually just going to save real fast because, you know, whenever I do these kind of unique interactions to a certain mod i always like to make sure that we're not you know <laughs> we're not going to have any kind of crashing problem i'm just going to wait here for some time until we get to the next little portion and she was attacked and immediately taken prisoner by lengi slavers well that's great uh, yes yeah, so that's that's a classic isn't it that's just wonderful. All right, well, uh, <laughs> not much for me to do about it, is there? Okay, so wait a second. Where is the guy? That's the question. I'm not sure if he actually shows up on the map when you look. Uh, I don't think so somehow. No, I don't think so. So this is going to be a huge issue because I don't think I remember... I don't think I remember where he is. I think he's over here somewhere, if I recall correctly. Um, no, this is just these fellows. I, I don't know whether he is actually. Is it this guy right there? I don't think it is. This one? Kras Krasnis? Krasnis the Turner. I don't think so, right? Hi. Hello there, sir. Okay. No. <laughs> no, he's just a merchant. He's just some random merchant. Okay, so I'm going to have to look around and hopefully I'll be able to find this guy in not too long a time. Well, it looks as though after running around, I, I don't even know how long I've actually been running around. I think 10 minutes or something like that. I have gone pretty much all the way over to every single area that you can see on the map here. I've gone to the Linen Weavery, the Tanner, the Blacksmith. I've gone to the Tavern and the Clearing and the Arena and so on and so forth. And I have, for some reason, not come across the NPC. 
I actually have no idea what's going on with that because I used to be able to go, I think, relatively ar around here somewhere. And then you'd see the guy and then you'd be able to speak to him. But you can see here, um, th this is all you can really do with these guys. Obviously, the townsman, you can just ask where, where people are. Um, but the guy specifically that is for recruiting the Unsullied, I can't find him. I actually don't know. I do not know where he is. I wonder whether they've removed him. I'm actually wondering whether they've removed him or whether he is only for specific... Um, I don't know, for specific people or whatever, but... I... I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm at a loss. So, I guess what I'm gonna have to do is I'll have to either, um, try to find him in my off-screen time. And then, uh, I, I'll show you where he is. If I can find him. I haven't gone down to the docks yet, actually, so... Maybe it's a good idea for me to have a look around here. Uh, no, not this guy. But, um, yeah. It is, uh... <laughs> it is quite frustrating, actually, because... Um, I've... I found him quite easily beforehand, but, uh, yeah, no, I've already gone here. I already know... I already know that I've gone here because this guy is Krasnis over there. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hopefully in the next one we'll have unsullied in our army and then we'll be able to take them and do something cool with them hopefully we'll be able to go into battle against more enemy vassals and maybe even the dothraki might be able to capture some more territory i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time